Hi guys, how are you? Shazada here. Today we'll be unboxing the new Note 10 Plus 5G. So, as most of you will know, the Note series is coming in two more versions now. Uh, the normal Note and the Note 10 Plus. Uh, for me, I, I always prefer Note series because, first of all, you get like a pen. Uh, sorry, you also get like a pen. The screen size is always one of the biggest available in the market at that time. And it's like one of the higher phones you, which you could buy but this time so Samsung has launched two different versions one with a much slimmer screen like smaller screen and the other one is the 10 plus which is 6.8 while the normal one is 6.3 so it depends on you which end you want to go let's unbox it So, there are like few reasons to switch to Note 10 Plus. One, you could get a micro SD card, so you're not stuck with 256 of storage. 256 is really, uh, it's not, I would say it's, you don't need to upgrade on that, but it depends on you. So if you're taking lots of 4K videos, I would say get a micro SD card, it's much uh, better as a backup itself so you can keep your data even if there's something some issue with your device itself you break it or you know a loss no well if you break then sorry you can't do anything if it's lost itself so that's the phone so you can see the screen ratio it's much bigger than the older one so let's have note 8 with me So you can see in the size there's not that uh yeah so right rare. So from the size you can see there's not that big of a difference. It's the the only the main thing is the screen itself is much much bigger. On the other one you will be getting 6.3, on this one is 6.8. So yeah, let's turn and in the back you have three cameras, while in note two you had two. Uh but the biggest di difference between um S10 series is that uh, 10 plus you're getting two cameras on the Note 10 and Note 10 plus you're getting only one camera in the front. So uh, The buttons have been moved on the left side now. Oh, why he been, okay, so. Before, the previous model in Note 8 and 9, you had the power button on the right side while the Bixby on the left and the uh, sound buttons. On this one, they have switched. So this is your power button instead of Bixby but you can use that as a big space as well so if you want to reboot your phone you need to hold the sound button and the power button which is sort of strange so i just don't get why would they be doing that uh other major thing is so one version is coming in so the normal note 10 it's coming in 8 gigs while the I'm just like so bad at this today. Let's just do this. Yeah, there you go. Easy peasy. It's usually so easy to take it out, but like this sound is just like really bad. I'm just gonna. <laughs> yeah, like that. Okay, so as you can see, so the screen itself, the screen is almost the same as the mobile on the 8, not 8. You do get your pen, which you need a lot of force to pull out. So the pen size is almost the same as well. Uh, the button has been like made a bit smaller on the new pen. They have also removed the Samsung logo. I kind of like that though. It's a silver one. Oh, well, yeah. That's gone. So, the other thing is it is IPv8, uh, 6.8, so it is waterproof, but I wouldn't just throw in the water. Because, like, even, even if. You're being told by your manufacturer that the phone is decent. I would try to keep it away. 
obviously if you're using in the rain i have used no rain in the phone uh, no rain in the rain i had no issue but it's just better to be you know safe so that's the uh, your sim card and the micro sd card holder for you so you can upgrade your memory so with the note 10 plus you get two options you can go to 256 gigs or you can switch to uh, 512 gigs so it's depending on the users also currently i have 128 gigs of storage in that one the my uh, the micro sd so i'm gonna use that one so we get like 256 and 128 gigs um that should be enough for me so let me just set up for it just give me one second so currently i'm just switching my data from the just syncing up both mobiles, transferring everything from Note 8 to Note 10 Plus. Let's just take some time. So let's just see the video itself. And now, so. Mars is a harsh planet. Between its lack of breathable atmosphere, no protection from UV rays, and temperatures that can range from a pleasant 20 to a hellish minus 153 so degrees Celsius, if you go to full volume, you could actually hear the vibration on the back. Which I kind of like. I don't like at the same time. Place to raise your kids. Science fi yeah, that's interesting. She thinks that we can solve these problems with terraforming. You know, radically engineering the planet's climate to make it livable, even though we can't control the. Okay, one thing though. So you can, if you go to display. One thing you will have to remember though, if you go to screen resolution, you can switch to SD, FST, or Ultra. So I will just go with Ultra. So because I'm used to that, I was getting the option. So, but one thing you guys do have to remember that. So it's over here. So if you go with Note 10, it will it has a like a smaller battery then no 10 plus but so the the screen on that is 1080p only so it's so it's like it wouldn't affect you that much if you were thinking because obviously if you have a much higher screen uh bigger screen you will have you will using more battery on that so which is in case of this one but the good thing is you can switch it to your screen for battery saving uh one thing though so samsung has change the like voltage on these ones so you're getting uh, the, that's 45 one uh, uh sorry the highest you can use is 25 watts and and sorry the highest you can use that's the charger which is available from Sam samsung is that is 45 watts but but in case you're getting 25 volt one um so this is the one that's like a super fast charger so in the box itself, you're getting. I'm not sure what. It's, oh, same from HDMI to USB C. So you're getting a cable. So it's USB C to USB C and micro to USB C converter, which is good. Uh, and the sad news, no more 3.5 millimeter jacks. So you have to use Samsung, so like the new, you can do one thing, you can go wireless like this, or you can buy a converter for your, how do you take you open that? It's just like so, I'm just gonna, oh, okay, this. So it's direct USB-C one instead of, it would have been much better if they have sent a 3.5 to USB-C mm, adapter as well. But you know, but they are sending uh, these headsets. These are decent in quality though. Uh, since no data has for them, they are not that bad when you compare it to the other ones. Uh, so the major reason, like the reason if you want to upgrade is the first one is screen it looks much better when you compare it to the ah oh, uh, i was just because of using the button on that side so like yeah that's different so the screen itself is much bigger 
Um, and I would say if you have a Note 8 or 9, there isn't really a need to jump to Note 10 series. Even if you had Note 8, there wasn't that much of a difference if you switched to Note 9 and the Note 10. It's more of like personal reason if you want to use that. Uh, the other thing is it comes with our glow, so it's like ooh, much more shinier than the other one. Uh, I always had the use the black color, but I just wanted to try something new. Um, that is it for this video, guys. Um, I hope so I see you guys next time. I'm gonna do one more unboxing for the buds later on today, and see you next time for that. Uh, one thing though, the battery on this one is 4300 milliamps, so uh, it's a bit changed than old one, but I would say in regards to its size for everything, they should have added like 5000 milliamp. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. So I'm just going to try to move all of my data on this one and I will test it and I will let you guys know how it is. Take care, have a good day, bye.